so far no more what thin column of smoke oh yeah yeah I see a really thin plume of smoke yeah I see it too a thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire campfire you, you think it's them <sighs> I reckon so it looks like it's to the southwest of me that's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. It's more like the south-southwest. Um, I wanted to check this. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh. Fossilized claw. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. Maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. Lusto. Interesting. Nice throw. <laughs> Cash, bear tooth point, or look at food supply drop. Thunder Canyon, two forks look out. Alright. For some reason there are flowers. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel, Steve. It's your man Ron. I went up to check on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for I don't know so I figured I'd stay away remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock Ugh. I'm starting to think the the what service only fast? I don't know. The something service only picks the deranged and... Oh, forest service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're in the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. What, what spot is this? What? Ah. Uh... Why didn't I do that before? I didn't know I could update my map. Jesus Christ. Hey, sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. I'm actually married. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Like, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Looks like there's a fire here. I was going to report this, but I guess I don't have to. So, how do I get over there? There is a sign here. Supply drop, okay. Uh, I need to go that way. Oh, it's a leaf. I was like, what is flying around me? Um, I apologize. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Flapjack. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, 
the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! Okay, I can't do anything. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm sorry if I'm talking a little quiet, it's just because I'm actually playing like the entire game and then I'm gonna like cut it into parts and uh, edit and whatnot. So I'm probably like somewhat tired because I'm sitting constantly. I might take breaks like maybe halfway through the game or something, but it's I'm, re I'm really enjoying myself. It's an interesting game. And I don't know, it's just, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I really hate, I really need to break this habit, but I really hate how I keep, uh, so you can climb that, uh, I really hate how I try and do my best to look at the camera when I talk to you guys, and I always look over at my third monitor, and... It's like I, I kind of look at myself when I'm talking, and it kind of looks like I'm looking off to the side. Or at least I'm looking at my third monitor, but I don't know why. And you probably hear purring right now. That is not me. <laughs> that is my phone. I'm just seeing what it was. I got an email that said, it's a bird, it's a plane. I don't know. Uh, she's got Alzheimer's, like um, dementia. Whoa! How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's forty-three. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? I'll say devastating, cause my devastating. My... Yeah. Especially for her, you can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. My grandmother actually has dementia, and it's, it's pretty tough to deal with. And, uh, she's 80, so it's not like she got it at a young age or anything, but it's, uh, there's some stuff going on with my family. I'm not going to get into that, and it's, it's tough. It's really stupid shit, too. It's all because of, like, one person. It just makes no sense. the hell is that? You sound like rubber ducks. I'm... I'm gonna leave while I can. <laughs> okay, so we're back here. Okay, we're getting closer to that thin column of smoke. I guess... Can I go through here? Uh... I think I hear music in the distance. Is it them? With rubber ducks? Like actual rubber ducks? It almost sounds like it's animals though. And I cannot find how to get up. Maybe I gotta go around? That's probably how it is. Oh. Is it raining? I thought it was raining for a sec. So that's their old fire. There's the plume of smoke. 
I hear music. In-game music, not like... I can't even explain it. I was about to say it's in-game music, not music that's in the game. But you, you know what I mean. It's not from their boombox they had before. And now that I'm going to run into them again, they're probably going to freak out at me. If this is them, of course. The fuck? It's over there. Why am I going around like this? I have to. Is this where I fell down before? I can't remember. This is a fairly calm game too, but I am sure it's going to be uh get a little more intense. I mean, even the the first day, it was a surprise to see that my, um, so, how'd you meet? It was, I was surprised to see that my lookout was, uh, ramshacked or whatever the word is. Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. <laughs> I stumbled over and told her she was pretty and that was it. Aw, oh, you were brave. I was drunk. Not now, Facebook. Ooh. A thing. <laughs> Ooh, a thing! That's what I say every day. There's a lot of stuff in here. Copy information! Because I didn't do that before. Missing persons flyer. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Hmm. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. She was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's, uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? One root, huh? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? <laughs> also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Well, there's the stream. I guess I'll just follow that. I'm having trouble seeing the plume of smoke with the, the sun there. Also, every time I try and explain something, I get cut off because of that. Ooh, beer cans. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. I guess I need to follow the stream. Um, there's a waterfall. I really like waterfall. What is this? Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. I'm 
probably about to run into them. Oh, there we go. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Dangerous hunks. <laughs> well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Oh shit, probably because I destroyed their boombox. They they ramshacked my lookout. That's probably what happened. I found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Looks like these girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Are they in there? I don't think so. Oh. Well, this is interesting. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. What does this say? Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake. And then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. I did nothing. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks dick. Okay. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay. Yeah. Let me know what it says. I already read it. I... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh... Was there anything that I missed? No. Oh, they're gone, for sure. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, <laughs> did you? No, but I destroyed their stereo. Henry, did you attack or do anything that could be perceived as an attack to these campers? Don't be ridiculous, no way, I just stole their booze. I didn't do anything to them. Hello? Fuck! Let me read! Should I... No, well, Fuck hey, it. I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. This is... I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay, I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Okay, drop the note. Day three. All right, I don't have to walk back. That was some crazy shit. But the part with the stealing the panties and stuff, like, that wasn't even me. Find boards downstairs to patch window. Back to work. Apparently I got an achievement for that. That's... Hey, Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? What do I look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. I like Burt Reynolds. Okay, if Tom Cruise had a good-looking twin, do you know Raleigh Fodges? This isn't that hard. I'll go with this one. I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in People he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. 
In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, clothes, I don't really think about it. Tuxedos are sound. I try to look nice usually. Now this can't be that hard. Clothes, I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like, good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know. I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. Which direction? Oh, you're over there. I was gonna say, how can you look at me? I'm on the other side of my thing. I have a thick beard. I do. A uh, pretty thick beard. I looked at my oh, monitor. Have yeah. you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get Can I board here. up my window, please? I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is is that okay? Uh. Don't don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Happy. Yeah. Uh, they're happy. I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. Do you get what you need? Absolutely. Looks like no nails needed. You just place the board, bang the hammer and the sticks. Because logic. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. I'm just gonna put all the books in this corner. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I like how they're all going in the same place. Splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Okay. <laughs> I hope that picture stayed where it was. <laughs> nice sunset. Eating a sandwich. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Yes. I might never leave. Well, uh... I called with some bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Hmm. I'm happy to be questioned. I didn't do anything. It's probably a coincidence. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Uh... I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Jesus. <laughs> After all that, it's day 15. <laughs> we jumped quite a bit. Henry. Henry, wake up. 
I'm awake. I'm coming. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. I'm coming. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. What did she say? Oh, she's the babe. What? You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. He has to be dreaming, right? Oh, that's too bad. Mm hmm, I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. That, that makes no sense. He had to have been dreaming. Also, day 33. Hike north to Is retreat. it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't huh. life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. Yeah, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Jeez. Going north. So guess. like two weeks ago you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so oh. sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, Javier. sexy as hell. Interesting name. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost Hello. five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to... Get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, I have whiskey. brother got killed working in Gillette, and <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine, he'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that, it'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here, I lied, and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So... I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something oh, about fun. me. We both fucked up. There's a supply drop. Looks like a big one. Oh, um, there. 999. You know, she doesn't do it anymore, but when my mom slept, she used to snore, but it wasn't like loud, typical snoring. Okay.